Hello, I'm Sarah with Aurora Public Library. In this video, I will be showing you how to sign up for and use Perfect Mind, Aurora Public Library's new program registration system. If you have ever signed up for a class or program with the City of Aurora's Parks, Recreation and Open Space, or Cultural Services, you are probably familiar with Perfect Mind and may already have an account. If not, no worries. We will walk you through how to get started. First, to get started, open your web browser and go to Perfect Mind. You can access this two ways. One way is to visit auroralibrary.org and on the main page, click on the purple button that says Programs and Events. Another way is to go directly to Perfect Mind at City of Aurora dot perfectmind dot com. Either way will get you to the home page of Perfect Mind. Your first time visiting Perfect Mind, you will need to set up an account. If you already have an account, you can log in with your email address and password. To set up an account, click Sign Up. Fill in the requested information, including your first and last name, email address, primary phone number, your full mailing address, your date of birth, and gender. Don't forget to click I'm not a robot before submitting. An email with login information will be sent to the email address you used to sign up. Before logging in for the first time, open this email to receive your temporary password. Log in with the temporary password and you will be automatically prompted to set your own password to use for future logins. Once your account is set up and you're logged in, you'll see your dashboard. This dashboard is how you'll access everything you need on Perfect Mind. To update profile information, simply click Edit and you can make any necessary changes. To change your password, click Manage Login and you can change your password. If you regularly register other members of your family, like a spouse or children, for library programs, you can easily add them to your account as a family member. No need for each individual to have their own account, especially if they are a child or teen under 18. They'll need to have guardian permission to register for programs. To add them to your account, click Add a Family Member. A form will pop up with a lot of the information already populated. Verify that this information is correct and then fill in the remaining fields. Once it's all filled out, click Submit and you'll see their information added as a family member. When registering for a library program, you'll be able to add any family members as additional registrants, making it easy to register the whole family in one transaction. You are able to set up one account with all family members listed, or each adult in a family can set up an account and add children and teens under each account. Now that your account is set up, it's time to look for library programs. To view programs, click Activity Registration from your dashboard. There are a couple ways you can view programs. One way is by Program Categories. To view programs by category, click a category under Library Services. Programs at all library locations are listed under these categories, including virtual programs and programs hosted at a partnering location. To view programs by location, type your desired location into the search bar, such as Central Library, Talon's Reach Library, or WebEx for a virtual program. When you're viewing programs, be sure you see Library Services under the category to ensure they are a free library program. Programs offered by other city entities may charge a fee, but library programs are always free. When you find a program you would like to attend, registration is easy. From the Library Services page, you'll see all programs listed for that category. To view upcoming dates for a program, click on Show Courses. Upcoming dates that you can currently register for will be listed below. To register, click the blue Register button. This will take you to the event page, where you can see more details about the program. To continue with registration, again click the blue Register button. Select the people who will be attending this program.
add as many family members as will be attending. For example, if a guardian and two children will be attending story time, please select all three of these family members. Then click Next. You will then be asked to read a release waiver form. After reading the release closely, please acknowledge that you agree to continue registration. Now it's time to review. Review your registration before completing it. If you are interested in signing up for another program at the same time, you can do so by clicking Book Another Event. This will take you back to the main program page. Follow the previous steps to add another program to your cart. You can then check out multiple registrations at once. To get back to your cart from the program page, click Booking Summary in the upper right hand corner. If you're only interested in registering for one program, simply click check out and you are done. Your registration is complete. A confirmation email will be sent to the email address associated with your account. You can also choose to print your confirmation for your own records or register for another program. Once you've completed registration, you can go back to your account page by clicking My Info. Scroll down and click on Schedules and you'll be able to see all the programs that you are currently registered for on a calendar. If you are no longer able to attend a program that you are registered for, please call the library at 303-739-1595 to be removed from the attendance list and to make room for another patron to register. If you have any questions about Perfect Mind, need help setting up an account, or registering for a program, please visit your local Aurora Public Library or visit auroralibrary.org for more information. Thanks for joining me for this tutorial, and we hope to see you at an Aurora Public Library program soon.